guys, welcome to Comfort Life Channel. I am so happy to see you here today. Today in this video we are doing another DIY product, a product which I guess every woman really needs because this is going to be a makeup remover pad. Well, you know, there are many pads, like commercial ones, but you know, they, the good ones really cost a lot and you really use them pretty fast I'd say and you know all the others probably they contain so many different chemicals and um, alcohol something you really don't want to really use on your face so the recipe is extremely simple and the reason why you should probably think about this DIY makeup remover pads is because you could always adjust it according to your preference, according to your skin type. I will show you just the basic recipe and um, I will also give a couple of recommendations but this one is perfectly, you know, I guess it's the best um, combination of everything and I love it a lot. I make this batch every couple of weeks because that's how long basically this um, last this will last you for and um, I do not keep it in the refrigerator. So the ingredient number one we are going to use is uh, one cup of basically hot water but instead of water I am using a strongly brewed chamomile tea of course you could also go for the green tea or just use the regular water so in this water well still hard let's dissolve the oil we shall need two tablespoons of oil I love using um, coconut oil but you can also um, use any other oil like I would recommend using jojoba oil it's really good um, so um, two tablespoons I'm really running out of the oil so one and two obviously you know when you add the oil it will not like you will see that you need to really dissolve it in there so once the oil is in there we shall also add a, a cleansing um, something. Well, I have two options for you here. I normally use the Castile soap, the baby Castile soap. This one is Dr. Bronner's, basically 18 in one hemp baby unsensed pure Castile soap. I really choose this option because it doesn't really have any um, essential oils added to it and I don't really want it to smell any anyhow. So in case I, I am going to use essential oils. So if you are having on hand, let's say Castile soap with um, tea tree oil, let's say, you will just need to emit the essential oil. So we shall need two tablespoons of um, Castile soap or we shall need a, two tablespoons of any other cleanser. Sometimes I might add the CeraVe uh, foaming facial cleanser. I'm using the one for normal to oily skin. This is my favorite cleanser, by the way. I love it. It's not irritating and it's absolutely not drying. But today I'm going to use Castile soap and we shall need also two tablespoons of that. Uh, once I've added that, I'm going to add a little bit of witch hazel. Witch hazel I always have on hand because I use it as a toner for my face. I'm going to use today the Thayer's uh, um, Rose Witch Hazel formula with aloe vera. There are many other different types. You could just use plain um, Thayer's, uh, or maybe not Thayer's actually, witch hazel formula. This one is alcohol free toner and that's actually what you need to try to look for. You can add either one teaspoon or one tablespoon of that. I'm going to use one tablespoon of that and now I guess I am pretty much done with the recipe here. If you are going to use essential oils, let's say let's say tea tree oil, right? On the one hand it's good to use it when you cleanse your face because it has uh, you know antibacterial properties good for acne prone skin, oily skin as well but this way you will not be able to use it on your eyes as much or you need to be really careful with it. I am going to use a little bit of tea tree oil and I'm also going to use a little bit of grapefruit essential oil as well. So this is just you know because I love the scent uh, but you could experiment and use any other different essential oils like lavender or you could just emit the essential oils all together. If you are going to use them, let's say I'm using tea tree oil, I will just add uh, three drops of this one, tea tree oil, and about three drops of grapefruit or it could be orange essential oil, anything you have on hand. So now I stir everything together and basically we're done. What we need to do it, we need the glass uh, jar for this. I actually um, you know, have several ones to use to show you. Um, it must have the lead. I mean, there are jars like this, you know, they are pretty good because they are tight when you close them. I actually store my tea in here. I also have the another one which is dark glass and it's really good because if you have, you know, there are different um, cotton pads. They are like wider, they're like smaller. So, um, you know, if you put 
the cotton pads in here, they're basically pretty tight, you know, like the commercial uh, products you buy and um, but sometimes it's not really comfortable to take it out. But this is also a good option. Today I'm going to use just um, the jar like this uh, with the lid on. Pretty much simple, right? So I'm going to use um, the cotton pads, you know, the cleansing pads. I'm not using organic ones though, but if you are into everything organic, you could of course get whatever you want. Now, the trick to moisturize the pads is you could either put them in there and then pour um, the liquid on top, and then you could actually actually flip them, you know, so the bottom part will always be more sort of moisturized than the, the top. But Or you could do like, you know, in, um, you know, in parts, pour a little bit liquid and then put another pad couple of them and then a little bit more so this way you will basically be 100% sure that every single one is properly moisturized you know moisturized see it's working pretty well and of course if you feel like you don't want to you know you don't use them a lot or every day you won't need you could do half of the recipe of course and use just half of the pack and then probably make a fresh um, portion every other week it's totally up to you so and then I have another portion here pretty much soaks well and then that's it and now I really love, you know, to sort of make sure my baby's tired of sitting by himself. And this is just a really pretty big badge right here. So I'm done packing all the cotton pads in here. They're properly uh, moisturized. This solution, I mean, everything smells really good and from coconut as well because coconut oil, every time I use it, it's unrefined so it has a pretty much like strong, um, um, you know, smell. And trust me, this works perfectly well for every type of makeup. I don't really wear waterproof uh, makeup that much because, you know, for that stuff you probably will need something stronger, but still, this is really good for your skin. It doesn't matter if you have an acne prone skin or the oily skin or it's especially good if you have a dry skin. Once I use it, I, afterwards I use a toner and then um, whatever the exfoliator like BHA and then I proceed with my regular routine if it's like a serum or a cream or whatever it is and uh, um, if you want you can of course add a vitamin E oil you could add some aloe vera gel or you could add some um, I know there are people adding so this a uh, better carotene capsules so you could also add that okay guys I know it's really unexpected here but the baby goes just like I want to be in the video too and um, so I was just saying that I would recommend you to use this DIY makeup remover pad for two weeks and probably not longer than that because it might get moldy. Even though you add uh, tea tree oil into it, it's not going to really keep the mold away. And uh, as far as the options, I've already given every possible one and if you have any questions, please let me know. I do hope you will love this recipe because it's really great and natural and that's basically what I am trying to do with my skin right now as much as possible. So if you like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.